The Casio FX570ES Plus calculator allow us to perform calculations with a uh, different number system. The four number systems that we have in the calculator is the decimal. Decimal is the number systems with base 10. The second one is the hexal decimal uh, number system, uh, which is uh, based on 16. And the third one is the binary, which is uh, with base 2. And the last one is octal, which is uh, with base 8. So these are the four number systems that we have in our calculator. Okay, um, converting a number from one base to another. Uh, let's say we have a numbers in decimal and we would like to convert this number to uh, octals, binaries, and a hexal decimal. Okay, so let's see how to do this. Huh? Let's switch on the calculators. If we would like to perform uh, calculations that uh, with uh, different bases, then we need to go to the mode and then uh, select 4, okay, base N, 4. Okay, once we tap on 4, immediately we can see this on the screen, okay? So this shows that uh, we are in a system with decimal, eh? okay? We are in a system with decimal, and uh, yes, okay, we start with decimal. So uh, we can insert uh, these numbers into the calculators, 278, and then uh, tap on equal, okay? so. Now we have these numbers, uh, decimal numbers, uh, decimal numbers, 278 in our calculators. Now we would like to see um, if the base is 8, uh, which is the octals uh, systems, so uh, what will these numbers uh, become? So we tap on this uh, OCT, uh, octals. Okay, now in octals, uh, 278 will be written as 426, uh, 426, okay. So that's how we convert a number uh, with base 10 to a number with base 8, uh, okay. The decimal system to the octal system. Okay, how about um, in binary? Uh, so how will this number look like in binary? So let's tap on binary. Okay, in binaries... Um, this number become one zero 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 one zero one one zero. Okay, so uh, this is the answer, and uh, the last one is hexal decimal. So hexal decimal is uh, this one a uh, hex. Uh, okay, so in hexal decimals uh, is one one six. Uh, Two hundred seventy eight is written as one one six. Uh, so hexal decimal one one six. Okay. So let's try another one. Uh, this time we have a binary numbers, huh? binary numbers. So let's clear the screen first, and then let's go to uh, binary, eh? binary. And this number is one one zero one zero one one. So one one zero one zero one one. Okay. And then equal. Okay. Now this is in binary. So we would like to know these numbers in decimal. So decimal, uh, this one, okay, decimal. In decimal, this is 107, okay, 107. And in octal, uh, this is 153, okay, octal 153. And then um, for hexal decimal, okay, so hexal decimal is 6B, 6B, okay. So that's how we convert a number from one base to another. Now take note that uh, for hexal decimal, other than the numbers that we use normally, we also use uh, some letter, capital letter uh, in our number, okay? So let's see what are the numbers or letters that uh, we use for these uh, hexal decimal systems. Huh? Okay, so this is the numbers in decimals. Huh? So we would like to know the numbers and uh, the letters that we use in hexal decimal. Okay, for hexal decimal, huh? okay, the number one is the same as the decimals. Huh? So it's one. Okay, one. Huh? Okay. So um, let's switch on the calculators, and this is in decimal. Let's change to hexal decimal. And then let's start with one and equal. So now we have put this into the answer. So the answer is one. So answer plus one. 
So the answer is one. The answer plus one is two. Okay, is two. So let's tap on equal. Okay, two. Um. So for number for two, okay, hexadecimal is also given as two. Okay, so this is two, and for three, so hexadecimal is also three, and four, hexadecimal is also four, five, hexadecimal is five. Um, six. Okay, so hexadecimal is six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Okay. So how about ten? How about ten? Okay. So, uh, for ten, so ten for ten, uh, hexadecimal is written as a. Okay. So we use a to represent ten in this uh, hexadecimal system, okay? And then so how about eleven? Eleven is b, and then twelve is c, and uh, thirteen is d, fourteen is e, and uh, fifteen is f, eh? f, and then for sixteen, okay, sixteen is one zero, eh? sixteen is one zero. Okay, so these are the numbers and the letter that we use in hexal decimals. Eh? Okay, so we use a to f to represent ten to fifteen. Okay, so that's hexal decimal. Okay, now before this, we have learned that our calculators can store variables. Yep, and the variables are stored inside uh, these buttons with this. Uh, capital letters which is red in color. So this, these letters represent variable, uh, variable. Okay, now for this hexadecimal systems, we also use these uh, characters or letters A to F uh, to represent a number. So how do we differentiate the variable from the numbers uh, in the calculators? Okay, now let's see these examples. Uh, okay, so we are in uh, hexadecimals which is base 16 and then let's store some numbers into these buttons here okay let's say uh, we would like to store two eh? number two uh, shift store let's store this into uh, this a eh? okay a okay so now our a is two uh, after that uh, let's store uh, number three eh? three and let's store it shift store into b eh? okay so we have two in A and then three in B. Now we would like to perform a calculations, eh? perform a calculations A plus B, let's say. So alpha A plus alpha B. Eh? Okay, so let's see what's the answer. Okay, the answer is equal to five. This is reasonable, okay, this is reasonable because um, our A is two and our B is three and uh, when two plus three, then we get five, eh? okay? Five. Okay. Now, how about if we would like to perform a calculations a plus b, where a is a number? Just now we learned that a actually is equal to ten. Okay, and b is equal to eleven. So we would like to perform this um, calculation: additions of uh, this number a with uh, this number b. Okay. Now, if we would like to perform a calculations of a number, but not uh, the variable. So what we do is we tap on this letter directly. We do not use alpha. Okay, we do not use alpha. We tap on this letter directly. Okay, so it shows that uh, this is A. Yeah? Okay, now this is a number. If we do not use alpha and then we straight away tap on this uh, A. Yeah? So this is a number A and then this number plus uh, B. Yeah? Okay, so uh, B. Okay. So uh, this is A plus B. A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 11, right? Okay, so A plus B, uh, just now A plus B equal to 5, right? Now this times A plus B is equal to 1, 5. Uh, A plus B equal to 1, 5. So that's the difference between the variable and the numbers, huh? okay? So in this case, uh, A is a variable and uh, the, uh, the values of A is 2 and the values of B is 13. But for hexadecimal numbers or hexadecimal systems, A is 10 
and b is 11 and uh, when these two add together it's become 21 in decimals but in hexal decimal this is written as one five huh? okay so in decimal this is 21 but hexal decimal this is one five okay so that's the difference between uh, variables and the numbers in uh, hexal decimals huh? okay now, just now you should also realize that um, the way that these calculators present this letter A as hexadecimal number and the A as variable is different. Uh, let's clear the screen. Eh? Let's clear the screen and then let me show you how does the variables look like. So alpha A. Eh? So this A is a variable. This A is a variable. Whereas if I tap on these buttons directly without alpha, okay, so this is a number. Okay, so this is how the A's look like. This A is a variable, whereas this A is a number. Okay, uh, so that's the difference between uh, the variable and the numbers for this hexadecimal system.